Improvisation depends on spontaneous interaction, similar to childhood games and sports. The big idea is be present and react to what's happening in the moment. Let's take a look at how to do that on a video platform like Zoom. Hi, I'm William Hall of ImprovGames.com, making the world a better place, one playful game at a time. Please subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss out on any future tips. Today, I've got an update on a childhood game from my colleague Brent Darnell. After that, I'm going to share another game that doesn't require any talking or even putting your face on the video. First up, a game from Brent Darnell. Now, Brent develops and delivers workshops to increase emotional intelligence and leadership skills. Find out more about him in the links in the description. Hey, Brent. When you told me about this game, I could not believe it. So you got something to share, right? I wanted to share a great exercise that I learned through the Applied Improvisation Network Open Space, Raymond Van Drail. It's a great exercise. It's really fun. It's called Breakout Room Tag. So on Zoom, you have breakout rooms. You have to make everybody a host in order for everybody to go from room to room, but you play tag. So you put people in breakout rooms, and here's the way I, I play it, is the person that's in that room with the shortest hair is it. And they have to tag someone else in the room by counting to 10 and then saying their name. So when you're in a room with four or five, six people and someone starts counting, you know that they're it, and you know that you have to leave as fast as possible. So you're frantically trying to push the button to leave. You go to another room, and if the person can count to 10 and say, Brent, you're it, then you're it, and they're no longer it, and then you have to find out how to tag someone else. So you can do that several ways. You can wait for other people to come into the room that are unsuspecting, and then you can count to 10 and tag them. Or you can just go to another room and see if you can tag someone in that room. So there's, there's all kind of great applications for this. And it's a great icebreaker. It gets the energy going. People are running around trying, trying not to be tagged and then trying to tag and doing diff different uh, strategies for tagging and avoiding being tagged. It's just a great way to use the technology. It reminded me of, um, it reminded me of early television where people just stood around talking because they only knew radio until they said, wait a minute, this is a visual medium. Let's try some things that, that utilize the medium. So instead of figuring out how do we do the stuff we normally do virtually with Zoom or go to meeting, let's say we've got Zoom or go to meeting. How do we utilize that technology to its fullest extent possible? So my name is Brent Darnell. I'm an applied improviser. I'm a performer. I now teach emotional intelligence to contractors and engineers and all those critical people skills. That's what I do. So this has been great fun. I hope you can use this. And uh, I'm glad William asked me to do this. Thanks. It sounds chaotic and really fun. Brent and I know each other through the Applied Improvisation Network. It's a generous group of professional consultants, trainers, coaches, and business people using the principles and activities of improvisation for business and life. Here's another activity from the world of improvisation that I actually learned at an online Applied Improvisation Network meeting. In an earlier video, I described how to play the mirror game. Put your screen in grid view, select one person to be the leader, and they lead by making slow movements in the frame and everyone else follows by watching. You pass the leadership by calling out another person's name, now they're the leader. But some people are uncomfortable even putting their face on camera you know, putting their self on the screen. Instead of putting your face on the camera, put your hand on the camera. It's easy. You move out of the way or tilt the camera away and just put your hand in the frame. One person leads, everyone else follows. It requires being present and responding to what's happening in the moment. It allows everyone to be included. It's a great icebreaker. And you know, a variation is to send a private chat to one person, ask them to lead and see if everyone else can see who is the leader by watching everyone else and watching the hands and the subtle movements. Find out more on the website, improvgames.com. A simple action by you will go a long way to encourage me to make more videos like this. Like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment, that would be great. Thank you.
buy my book of improv games and talk to me about bringing a workshop full of this activity to your work group or your team. We can cover a lot of different areas, and I guarantee it will be fun. Play on. The more we play, the better the world gets. <laughs>